Hello everyone, this is Tatiana Pashalic bringing you the latest coverage from the APT 2012 Macau Day 3. The day kicked off with 39 players that needed to play really carefully. Today was the bubble day. Not long into the play, Winfred Yu managed to knock Wilson Chung out, securing a nice cash for everybody that was left in the tournament. Not everyone can feel comfortable during the bubble. Strategies are different, as are the stacks. What do you do when you have a big stack on the bubble? Do you abuse the bubble, as they say? Yeah, I think that's probably the best strategy to do. Um, there are a few short stacks to my left, so when I spotted to me, I just raised every single hand. We saw you with a lot of chips yesterday. What happened? Uh, yeah, I played really bad and lost a lot. <laughs> Not a good plan. What was your uh, strategy during the bubble? I was really short that time as well. So I, just, I shoved a couple of times and it worked and uh, then I was pretty safe, I think. kind of sit tight with my chips for now. Uh, I don't have too much play post-flop, so just kind of try and get it in good uh, pre-flop. And I also I have a lot of tough players on my table, a lot of really aggressive players, so uh, just kind of take it easy. <laughs> Some of us traveled a long way from home to come and play poker in Asia. So you traveled all the way from the UK to here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whenever there's an uh, opportunity to get out of the English weather, I, I take it. So, uh, <laughs> uh, And I love Macau, so I come here as, as, as often as I can. What was your strategy at the bubble? I had a pretty like decent shoving stack, so I was just looking to shove over. There was a pretty aggressive player to my right. Every time he opened, I was looking to just shove on him with anything that was semi-decent. And, and uh, that's what I did. So, all the way from America, you came here, made the money, but unfortunately you're out. I got knocked out, you know, I played well, don't have any regrets. The tournament was great, all the staff members were really friendly and met a lot of nice people here, so I had a great time. How are the players here playing poker as opposed to the ones in the States? Uh, they're more aggressive. Everybody likes to re-raise a lot more. Everybody's <laughs> a lot more uh, intense about it, so it's good though. It's good if you, if you play patiently and play the right hands, you can, you can do well. We witnessed you just win a huge pot and everybody's terrified of you at the table now. Uh, yeah, I just got lucky, you know, with uh, the limb and a raise and I got 10s on the button and flop a 10. So, easiest things to do, I guess. And now people are very, very scared. No, no, they shouldn't be. I'm one of the fish here, so... <laughs> <laughs> but there's more to Winfred than just a poker machine. He's the man in charge of the nosebleed cash games here in Macau. You have been here from the very beginning of poker in Macau, right? Uh, yeah, I was I'm from Canada and uh, Sunsi they hired me to um, we put in a VIP style junket poker room here in Star World and we host the biggest game in the world since then for three years now almost. What is your prediction for poker over the next couple of years here? Uh, I can see a much much um, more uh, million dollar buy-ins and higher stakes so it will attract uh, definitely um, more international players which always like Phil Ivey, Tom Dwan, those guys are regulars here already. I think it will attract more European players because now the prize pool is big enough for them to come and attack it. As you can see, tonight is going to be a late one. The players are battling it out for their place at the final table. So if you want to find out who the lucky 10 are, stay with us. This is Tatiana Pasalic. Thank you for watching Calvinair.com.